I am an Army chaplain, um, and it's, and it's uh, one of the greatest things to do because what I get to do is I get to um, uh, go where my soldiers are at, and my airmen, um, and I get to just uh, hear their stories, see, see where they're coming from, um, and if there's any problems or like issues, I can just help them with that, um, and just make sure they're like take to to make sure that they are taken care of. Um, and like, part of that is I get to also provide religious support to them, like providing Bible studies, services, um, um, and just to and just to be there for them. So out here today, uh, I'm here to uh, visit one of the teams uh, um, that are here. Uh, they're doing a wonderful great job at like taking care of the people here um, they've like they're like working hard they're like morale is high um, and so I'm here to just see if I can continue to like build that up um, because if their morale were, were to ever fall then I would be there for them to like figure out what to do you know if it's something like give them something nice um, maybe like set up a game night pizza night whatever but the idea is to um, help them to to be happy to have high morale so that they can continue their like mission yeah, so um, every soldier and like airman, um, they have a, have a wide variety of different of like uh, of a like religion, and so what I have to do is like tap into that, um, and just really call upon their like God, um, and and I feel like that gives people motivation, courage, and hope to like keep on going, because um, me personally, um, you know, whenever I'm tired, whenever I'm down, whenever I'm like you know um, uh, fatigued. Um, whenever I feel like I want to go home, I just, you know, take a step back, think about why am I doing this, because I'm here for God, here for soldiers, and that just refreshes me and just gives me energy to like, continue on the mission. And so I want that also for, uh, for like, other soldiers too, is to call upon that spiritual re resiliency uh, to, you know, battle their, like, um, emotions. So, uh, but here, I, I just get to see them every single day. I get to uh, give them my contact information and if they need me I would go um, I would like, make that like a priority um, but if I'm not needed I would just try to get around and try to see everyone that's under my care um, I'm visiting uh, this site with a chaplain um, we're just here to check on the morale of the troops and um, meet the needs um, uh, link up and schedule a uh, a morale boosting day at their uh, their hotel that they're staying at. Uh, their mission is to support the staff and the staff's mission is to um, take care of uh, the homeless here at this site. The overall mission um, they want to make sure that the troops aren't getting burnt out um, being here every day working every day and so that's where the chaplain's role comes in to provide that religious support and um, to provide a morale boosting um, opportunities and my job is to um, assist him in completing his mission and his vision uh, so that means coordinating with uh, their sergeants and their officers and establishing a battle rhythm to coordinate the events and then as far as spiritual resiliency goes, um, I think it's key to ha be resilient in your mission and in your daily life. So to be here to support them, that, that's why I came on as a religious affairs specialist. I wanted to, to help soldiers and airmen. So. Uh, what's your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job is to just seeing, seeing uh, soldiers and airmen and, and seeing them work and, and meeting them from, they're from all over the state and um, get to know them, um, kind of creating a network and always checking in on them long after the mission's over. And they basically relocated to this hotel to house all the people that were being housed at the homeless shelter and that's just from people, married couples, single people, um, recovering drug addicts, people that also have corona are being housed here and it's just a way for them to be able to get a chance to survive the pandemic that's going on because we know that if they were out on the streets they wouldn't have had a chance most likely. So that's basically what this is, just a good deed on their end and then we came to help out. Um, we served, it's 168 people we're serving and three meals a day so if you do the math 160 times three that's how many meals we're serving every day for the next 31 days. 
Um, we're also tending to these people as far as what they need, toilet paper, towels, food, coffee, anything like that, medication. And then we disinfect the hotel for them as well. It's rewarding and humbling because I'm getting to go home at the end of the day and go back to my hotel rather than staying in a hotel, having other people take care of me because I know these people wouldn't have had a way to be provided for during this time. So yeah, I know a lot of homeless shelters shut down because of the pandemic. A lot of people stopped working. They didn't want to risk getting sick and then bring it back to their family. So these people would most likely be on the streets, even more vulnerable to the pandemic. It makes me feel good. That's the main reason why I did it. I wanted to get active duty experience and I knew I'd be helping people out. And seeing what I'm doing in this hotel really affects the people and they're so grateful too. They all always thank us for our service and thank us for what we're doing. So it makes me feel like I'm doing something bigger than what other people would describe it as. Well, uh, a homeless shelter from another area has uh come into the hotel and uh, we're pretty much helping them feed uh, 167 people three times a day along with keeping inventory of uh, the PPE uh, not only the PPE but uh, making sure that everybody is uh, uh, fed and, and then we keep we get trucks in daily of uh, supplies so keeping a good inventory on it well, basically we have uh, we have eight services people here that help us out with delivering food. So they're normally doing this. And the logistics side of unloading trucks and, and keeping inventory is something we do on the side. Uh, so we're, we're doing pretty much the same, but at the same time, we're doing it at a different location. Things always change at a moment's notice, so we always gotta be on our toes about it. So helping people out is what we're doing. Well, it's very rewarding to help out. I mean, that's why you join the Guard. You join uh, for your military service, not only to the federal side, but to the state side. And now that uh, the state side needs us, we're here for them and for uh, the people that are, like you said, are vulnerable. So what well, I have to say that uh, talking to the facility manager here, that these individuals would probably uh, all have the virus if they weren't uh, sheltered in place somewhere. So getting them to a different place to where they can stay away from other people uh, is only helping the, the virus slow down. Yeah, it's good. Like I said, I've been I've deployed to several locations and filling the mission uh, for active duty wise, but coming home stateside and helping your own state uh, do the mission is, is very, uh, a very important job. So it's very rewarding.